Welcome everybody to the 90 day challenge day four. This is Chris Record. I will be your presenter today. And the topic will be finding hot niche products to sell on your Shopify store, okay? Finding hot niche products to sell on your Shopify store. So for those of you that are watching live, be sure to comment and let me know if the volume and the video are showing up good. You know, I don't wanna to go too far without that working, uh, showing up good. Now, during today's presentation, there's a, uh, a category here where we can basically look at uh, live comments kind of coming in. And what we'll do is we'll look at the 90 day challenge. We'll go in the 90 day challenge group. You can see I'm live right here. Um, come find me on the day four live. People are starting to jump on right now. As you can see, this will get into the hundreds uh, while we're here today. And let me know. Here we go, baby, day four. So in the comments right now, as we're getting started, let me know, so far, how have day one, two, and three been? Were you guys expecting this much value? Are you guys blown away? Have we been over-delivering? Let me know. I always go through at the end of every single presentation, I go through and I read these, okay? So um, it's gonna be very, very exciting. So as you can see, people are starting to pour on, give them a second here, and this is gonna be the today's topic, finding hot niche products to sell online, okay? Um, Let's kind of come back to this in a minute. I'll open this up here in another window. Okay, we'll come back to this in a minute. So what I wanna to do today is we're gonna go ahead and get started right now. Okay, let's get started. So what I wanna do is um, first, let's talk about a list of ways that you can find what niches are selling well, okay? So let's just go ahead, let's just go ahead and brainstorm real quick while people are jumping on. Let's go ahead and brainstorm, okay? Um, the first one is gonna be Google search, site colon myshopify.com, and then uh, niche keywords. Okay, we're gonna come back to that one. You guys have seen me do that on a bunch of other ones. Okay, the next one is gonna be AliExpress, um, top selling, uh, and also, you know, just browsing categories and using the searching features, okay? AliExpress is another good place to find that. Okay, another one is gonna be Facebook search, okay? Um, type in keywords that sellers would use in their posts. That's a really creative way right there, type in keywords. The other one is gonna be uh, print on demand sites. They are already organized by top selling categories. Okay, great way to find niches, okay? So print on demand sites, we're gonna look at, today we're gonna look at Teespring, Viral Style, Gear Bubble, um, and we'll probably go through some, we'll probably actually go through some more, okay? But we'll start with those ones right there. Okay, now, and actually we'll just start with those as, as like kind of like a starting point, and from there we'll, we'll go and we'll kind of talk about more. So again, real quick, we're gonna have, you know, Google search, we're gonna have AliExpress, we're gonna have Facebook search, and we're gonna have print-on-demand sites. Okay, these are gonna be four ways. So, right now you guys are kinda of jumping on. Okay, boom, people are starting to jump in. Great, awesome. Let's get this thing going. People are still pouring on. Let's go, team, who's ready? Who's ready to jump in and learn some of these niches? So, let's, um, let's go through a bunch of these really quick, and let's talk about how to find a niche, a hot items to sell on your Shopify store. So, let's start with the first one, Google. Google's a great place to start. You've all know if you've been watching my um, if you've been watching my presentation so far, you know about this. This is called a site search. You can type in the word site colon and then anysite.com. So for example, let's say I wanted to research um, example funnels. I would do site colon clickfunnels.com and look at this: sixty nine thousand examples of click funnels. You know, like look at this. Like I could go and I can learn about. Delta Life Fitness locations on ClickFunnels, and I can see how they're using ClickFunnels uh, to represent all of their different locations. I mean, look at this. Who knew you could do this? I can go and I can see, wow, here's a great example on how to do that. Okay, that's on another thing not even related to Shopify. You know, here's Crisis Department. I can go in and I can basically look at how they're using ClickFunnels to be able to, you know, market their business. I know that it's loading a little bit slow right now. I don't know if that's my computer just getting hot or not. But here's an example. Um, there you go, as you can see, basically they're, they're using ClickFunnels in this way, so you can see what it looks like. So basically, in a nutshell, it doesn't matter what you're doing. A site search, you can search pretty much any site on, on the web, and you can go and you can see all these different ways that people are, are doing things. You know, here's a, some examples of pages. You know, here's a 
free t-shirt onboarding page, here's an FXTD course, whatever this is, and you can see how people are doing things. Well, you can do the same exact thing with Shopify. By going to myshopify.com, you can find 15 million pages that you can find that shows you example Shopify stores and way that ways that people are using Shopify stores. You see that? So that's, that's really awesome. You can go um, to print on demand sites, okay? You can go to like, you know, teespring.com and there's nine million pages all about Teespring, you know? Here's all these kind of things. Like I have a crazy Scottish husband and you can get ideas, right? So site searches are a great way to be able to get ideas, you know, for niches. I have a crazy Scottish, hu Scottish husband and I'm not afraid to use him, you know? So this would obviously be targeted to a woman who is married um, and uh, where the, it's, it's Scottish. And, and also you could target men who are Scottish. You could also target women who are Scottish. You could target men who are st Scottish and then have them tag their wives or whatever it might be. Um, men might even buy this and just have their wife wear it. So just really kind of cool stuff. So whether it's searching Teespring or whether it's searching viral style or whether it's searching, um, you know, even AliExpress. Look at this, searching AliExpress, 17,900,000. So a site search is where you put the word site and then a colon and then you put any name.com. Now, you, the reason you don't put www.com is because, see how it says 17 million results? Watch what happens if I put www. 63 million, but watch this. Let's even do like shop, my, myshopify.com. Look, www.myshopify.com pulls in nothing, whereas this pulls in 15 million. The reason is, is because everybody's Shopify store has a subdomain. So you only want to search things on myshopify.com and that'll, let, that'll search all the subdomains. So that's why we do it like this, site colon myshopify.com. So now what you want to do is you want to leave this search up in the background. We're going to come back here and we're going to start typing in words of niches to see if they're any good. Pitbull, um, dog grooming, you know, whatever it might be, pet supplies. Um, you know, we might do uh, dog bracelets, whatever, you know, whatever niche we decide to do, you know, survival, knife, you know, whatever it might be, you know, and then, and then you can start to see whatever, whatever trend, whatever niche you might find, you'll be able to come in here and you'll be able to use this site search space and then type in the niche keyword. And then you'll be able to find a whole bunch of sites that you can kind of learn from and you can kind of go check out and then you'll go in and you'll check out these sites. And then you'll have a whole bunch, you'll have some what's called niche research. You'll be able to go, okay, here's a site that's all about blades. The other day we talked about how blades, they don't, they're not very good for Facebook ads because Facebook doesn't allow them, but they're great in terms of survival people want to buy them all the time. So here's a site that's all about blades and you can see that if that was the niche we were in, we'd really easily be able to find it. And you might be able to do things like even like, any words you could think of, politics, you know, there's 38,000, um, Democrats, uh, then you can do Republican. And you see what I'm saying? Like rowdy Republican. I mean, just like, look. I mean, it's Republican coffee, rowdy Republicans, Republican Party chocolate tin, Republican Party t-shirts. I mean, these are basically, it's a niche, right? Politics would be a, a main niche and then Republicans here would be like a sub-niche within that. You could do something just for Republicans. So the idea here, uh, first let's talk about niches. So, okay. So let's talk about General store, niche store, micro niche store. Okay, let's talk about each one of these because there's really three types of stores. A general niche store, also known as a flex store. Okay, you might hear the term, if you, if you hear in the industry, if you have a Shopify store, you might hear the, hear the term that somebody has a flex store. What that means is that it's flexible. They can sell anything they want in it. The idea is that if you're a beginner, it might be wise to be flexible in the beginning because you don't know what niche you should be in. So a general store, a flex store, you have the benefit of sell any products in any niches, okay? Um, gives you the ability to experiment to find out what niche might work and what audience might work. Um, ability to practice, okay? You get the ability to practice. Uh, until you find something, right? It's a general store. It's a flex store, okay? So let's go with these options. Let's go option one, 
a general store. Okay, let's go option two, niche store, and then option three, micro niche. In fact, let's make these bullet points really quick. Okay, option one, general store. Sell any products in any niches. It gives you the ability, um, what's what ability? Ability to experiment, to find out what niche might work, what audience might work, ability to practice. Okay, option two, niche store. Okay, um, and this is going to be targeted. Okay. And now the idea here is that um, visitors are more comfortable when the site, when the store perfectly matches their passion. Ability to laser target and convert better. But you lose the ability to experiment with multiple niches. Okay, meaning with a with a with a niche store, you're going to be able to convert better. But the problem is, is that you might you might choose a niche that you actually don't really know very well, and because you don't know very well, you might spend all this time, energy, and money setting up something, getting involved in a niche when really, like, you thought it was going to be a home run, and then it wasn't, and then you've got you, you really can't do anything. Whereas if you would have just created that here, like, let me put a little subcategory. Best practice for a general store is. Each category is like a mini niche store. You focus on niches as categories instead of as their own store. That's, that's the idea there. That's the best practice is that what you're really looking to do is you're looking to um, use categories. So instead of like having like an example is like, let's say you want to go, oh man, I heard that survival is good. I've heard that fishing is good. I've heard that, oh man, I had a friend tell me that, you know, horse barrel racing is like this super hot trend and everybody will buy something. And then I also know this woman that owns horses. So, so I want to have a fishing store. I want to have a horse barrel racing store. I want to have a survival outdoor wilderness store. I want to sell backpacks. You know, if, if, if there's so many different things you could do, if you have a general store, then what would happen is you could start creating backpacks. Uh, you could create like example, um, and we'll just call it, let's call example, let's call it, um, you know, let's call it, uh, you know, Greenway um, Superstore Online, okay? Let's say that's example, that's a general store. Example, general store. Okay, Greenway Superstore Online, Greenway Superstore Deals, okay? Something like that. There's like a, there's, that's a name that like you could sell anything under, okay? And then your categories might include, watch this, outdoors, and then a subcategory might be fishing, and then a subcategory here might be like fishing rods, fishing reels, fishing bait, fishing lures, fishing accessories, fishing, um, Equipment, fishing clothing, fishing um, miscellaneous, whatever. So your categories would be like, you might have like an outdoors category. In the outdoors category, you might have fishing. And then you could, might have, you know, you might really want... So what you would have done is you would have built a fishing store. It might have been called um, Fishing Superstore Online or something like that. And then you would have just been stuck with this category. Okay? You would have had all these things as your fishing stuff. But now you can actually just have Greenway Superstore deals, have one category called outdoors, a subcategory called fishing, and then all of this stuff inside of it. So you can still get like really niched down and do fishing. But the benefit is that you might also want to try hiking as a category. And then inside of hiking, you might want to have you know hiking clothes, hiking accessories, um, hiking equipment, uh, whatever it might be, right? So, um, and then you might want to have like backpacks as an example right there, water packs, um, you know, whatever it might be. I, I, I'm not in the, in the hiking niche, but do you see what I'm saying? So like if you wanted to sell fishing equipment, but you also wanted to sell backpacks, and then now let's say that you also wanted to get involved in horses, okay? So you literally could, um, you could literally have a category called horses, and then over here we would say like horse um, equipment, horse clothes, uh, 
horse clothing, horse accessories, horse jewelry, um, whatever it might be. Do you see what I'm saying? That like you can, you could, we just, you could have all of these different categories, you know, and then you might have a category here, like we talked about, like for like barrel racing, and you might go, well, wow, I would have thought I would have had to have a whole like barrel racing site. You don't necessarily have to have a whole barrel racing site. You could have a category, okay? Now, if, if, if this one sub category takes off, you might want to consider launching an entire store based on this topic or general topic, okay? So in the future, you know, if 90% if of your sales are coming from barrel racing, then that might be a sign. You might even want to just change your whole site. You might want to just change the whole entire site to all, all you know, horse-related site. But that's, that's the idea. The idea is you can start general. You can experiment. Who would have known that barrel racing was a thing? In fact, let's go over here to, um, let's go over here to, you know, barrel racing. And, you know, look, barrel racing horse bits, uh, barrel racing saddles, um, you know, saddle company, sweatshirts tagged barrel racing. I mean, who knows? Like, right, like, look at all this right here. There's like a whole category here for barrel racing sweatshirts selling for $40, $46, $40, right? So you just never know what, what uh, tote bags, barrel racing tote bags. Um, there's just so much stuff. So because of this, this is my point, like barrel racing phone cases, leggings, um, barrel racing t-shirts, um, barrel racing uh, bits, helmets, you know, so you don't know. So what I'm saying is this is the whole idea. Option one is a general store, a flex store, where then your category might include, let's say, outdoors, and we just did that whole entire thing. You might have another category that's like indoors, right? So now you got an indoors category and outdoors category. Indoors categories might be like home gyms, or, or, or like might be like, yeah, like home gyms. And it might be like, you know, uh, weights, um, gym equipment, gym accessories, gym clothing, you know, whatever it might be. You're like, really? I can sell barrel racing uh, stuff and I can sell gym stuff on my store? Yeah, all you have to do is start with a general store and then figure out how to like organize the content in some kind of meaningful way that gives you that kind of flexibility. Right now I showed you like two main categories, indoors and outdoors, okay? That's like, that's like just an example. Over here you might do like, you might go into a category called like man cave, you know? And then, you know, man caves could be like indoors categories. Man caves could have like, you know, vintage signs, um, you know, men's, Furniture, um, video games, electronics, um, you know, wall art, you know, um, cell phone cases, who knows, you know, like uh, funny gag gifts, whatever it might be. And you're like, wow. So, like, you can have an entire niche store that is called Man Caves, Man Cave Central, Man Cave, whatever, and you can sell stuff for men that men want to have in like their, their like in a den or in a basement or some room in their, in their home that is like their man cave. And you can sell them a bunch of stuff, but you could do it just as a category. So the, the concept here is the best practice is that you would have a general store and each category is like a little mini niche store. So like your little man cave store could be a category on a general store and you start there and you fill it up and you start trying to sell it. And see, you're going to be driving traffic, you know, traffic goes straight to product pages, okay? So your traffic is gonna go straight to product pages. So at the same time, they're not really gonna see all the rest of your store anyways. And it will mostly be mobile users that visit, okay? So they won't see most of your store. So since they won't see most of your store, it doesn't matter if you have a man cave category, it doesn't matter if you also have a barrel racing category. Right? It just doesn't matter because they're not really going to see it anyways. So since they're not going to see it, what you're looking to do is you're looking to start with a general store. This is the best practice, what we call flex stores. Start with a general store, create a series of categories, uh, some sort of a category structure that allows you to experiment and to play with lots and lots and lots of stuff. Okay? 
Does this make sense? If you guys are following along right now um, in the comments, if, if it makes sense, tell me, yes, this makes sense, okay? There's hundreds of you on. Say, yes, this makes sense, okay? Um, and let me know. Horse lingerie, you guys are being funny. Horse makeup. Um, yeah, so if, yes, yes, yes. You guys are saying, yes, it makes sense, okay? Let me know if this makes sense, right? Um, Brian saying, yes, this makes sense. You guys say, yes, okay. Now, if this makes sense, then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to second category, okay? Option two, a niche store targeted. Visitors are more comfortable when the store perfectly matches their passion, ability to laser target, convert better, but you lose the option to experiment with multiple niches. Okay, so let's get to this one and let's break down categories. Um, example of a niche store might be, um, let's call this one, uh, and, and actually let's, let's do like a real, let's do a real one. If you guys remember, there's a tool that I showed you all in a previous um, webinar. It's called Lean Domain search.com okay lean domain search.com i'll post this right here um, um, uh, get ideas for store names at lean domain search.com so it's right there in the document and again if you guys need access to this document and you don't have it you just go to the 90 day challenge group and you go to the file section right here and there it is 90 day challenge notes and replays and as this builds out you'll be able to go and get the document, okay? So it's in the 90-day challenge group and the files section is where that document is that I'm, that I'm editing. So you guys can have all these notes. Um, you don't need to write down all these notes. They're all in here. You should be writing down notes relevant to you. Get ideas for store names at Lean Domain Search. So you're gonna come in here and enter a word you want your domain name to include. So what we'll do is we'll do like phishing, okay? You're gonna type in the word phishing and it's gonna search. It's found 2,549 available names for phishing. And you could do starts with, ends with, um, you could do the length, alphabetical, all this kind of stuff. So you can go through here and you can look to see if, if, if anything is available. Look, fishingcommerce.com, you know, is, is available right now as, as an e-com site. You know, Fishingzilla, you could easily get like a, get like a, a logo of like um, Godzilla fish logo. There might even be one that exists. But, you know, think about how, think about how simple that would be like, you know, fishing Zilla. Oh, that would be kind of funny right there. Like a big Godzilla looking fish. Um, Godzilla fish. Anyways, that fish does look like Godzilla, but that's probably a funny Photoshop uh, thing. So yeah, so you just do like Godzilla logo and you do like fishing Zilla. So you see like there's the Godzilla logo. You could do like fishing, put the word fishing Zilla. And you could do this for like any, any niche, fishingzilla.com. And then Fishingzilla, and then what the, that would be the lettering. You could do like similar lettering or Fishingzilla. Just have a graphic designer model it after one of these. Fishingzilla, uh, Fishingzilla, um, the, ult, the ultimate, ultimate fishing superstore. You know, Fishingzilla, ultimate fishing store, or Fishingzilla where, um, where something meets fishing. Fishingzilla where, where fishing meets a vengeance where you know whatever it is like you come up with a little tagline so that's it so you got fishing zilla and you can come up with like a couple icons maybe even like this like one two circles right here okay one circle has like a dragging like a godzilla dragon and the other circle has like a fish okay fishing zilla and you can put one circle on each side okay or fishing zilla maybe it's like this it's like a fish that's like a godzilla fish okay so that's that's what you do you come over here and you just like that you go fishing zilla okay so that's just an example. You come in here and you get a name. Now, if that's not just like this, fishing store, okay? And look at all this, fishing store. And we can do ends with fishing store. Web fishing store, green fishing store, Mr. Fishing store, um, travel, easy fishing store. Look at all this. Like these are just plenty. There's, you can get, um, and if you don't want, if you don't want fishing, you can do like the word superstore. Like if you want to do general, you can do something like this. Let's do ends with superstore. And so look at all these domains. Look at this. There's 2,525. Look at all these names. You know, phoenixsuperstore.com. That sounds official, right? Phoenix is a, is a city in Arizona. So Phoenix Superstore, you could even target it like um, if you were going to have like Phoenix Superstore, it would be great. You get like a cactus, you know, like let's do like Phoenix uh, Arizona logo. So, you know, there's like the Phoenix... Arizona logos like this kind of thing you could have your designers do something like similar okay not copied obviously 
but let's just do like Phoenix logo, Phoenix wallpaper, uh, Phoenix uh, Arizona icons, you know, stuff like this. You can kind of look to see what people are doing. Like, see how this says Phoenix, and it's got like the little city right here, and it's got the word Arizona. See this one here? It's got like a little landscape city. These could be like Phoenix. Instead of the word Arizona, you would do like Superstore, Phoenix Superstore, okay? So just like that, Phoenix Superstore. And then you could basically have like canyons or you could have cactuses, you know, like watch, Phoenix cactus icons, uh, like that. So you could have like a logo that's like this, like a cactus, that's like a logo, a logo with a cactus. So you can go to a designer and say, okay, my business is called phoenixsuperstore.com. I want a picture, I want a logo on icon of like a cactus. And now here's the thing. Yes, you could sell a lot of outdoor stuff, but it really doesn't matter. You look like an official site, okay? So you look, you literally just got an idea. You look like an official site. So it's a general store. You can sell anything you want on that store. It doesn't just have to be outdoors. Just because somebody sees a cactus in the logo doesn't matter. So that's an example. You could find something like, just like that Phoenix Superstore. Um, and look at all these, you could just go down. So the concept here is whether you're um, doing a general store that could be like Phoenix, stupid, like let's put that in like an example. It'd be like Phoenix, uh, phoenixsuperstore.com, okay? There's an example, example general store, phoenixsuperstore.com. Um, example, uh, example niche store would be like um, fishingzilla.com, right? Fishingzilla. And it even it even sounds fishing Zilla even sounds like like a um, like like watch like let me show you like host Zilla logo like look okay here's a company that's done like millions of dollars host Zilla and they got like a little picture of like uh, you know a little um, dinosaur or whatever so you know you people are doing this kind of stuff and it's available. So that's what you want to do. You want to come in and you want to get an example. So let's say example niche store would be Fishingzilla. And then you would say categories might include. And then, and then you're going to start making your, your categories, right? Categories might include. Now in this example, let's do this. Let's go over to, to Google and let's do um, Fishing Superstore. And let's go look like Tackle Direct. Okay, let's go look at a professional site. Okay, Tackle Direct the world's premier fishing outfitter. Now remember, this could be Fishing Zilla, and this little circle here could be a picture of like the tail, the Godzilla looking like a fish, and it could say, um, you know, uh, world's best fishing deals, okay? Fishing Zilla, the, the, the Godzilla fishing logo icon, and then world's best fishing deals, okay? You can model after all this stuff. For all I know, this might even be a, um, a Shopify store, you know? This could be a Shopify store. Okay, they've even got like the little customer Google reviews. This this could be. I mean, I might even. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to quickly find out. Let's see, like Shopify. Well, nothing popped up, but this might be a Shopify site. This looks familiar to me, but I'm not sure. I don't even want to get into uh, looking into that right now. But okay, you, we're going right now, and we're looking at a niche. Now we're inside of a general niche, which is a like fishing. Okay, saltwater. They got reels, rods, combos, lines, leaders, lures, terminal tacker. Freshwater, reels, rods, combos, lines, leaders, this and that. Fly fishing, rods, reels, fly lines, this and that. Apparel, men's, women's, sunglasses, rain gear, accessories, marine. So these are um, examples, right? So you've got like all of these things. You've got apparel, okay? So we go, categories might include like fishing, apparel, okay? Right here, apparel, right? Fishing, apparel. And then, you know, there's all of these different things. I just pasted them as an example. You got fishing apparel, you got men's, shirts, pants, shorts, jackets, bibs, sunglasses, shoes and boots, um, waders and wading boots, uh, sweatshirts, and all men's stuff. Okay, then you got women's, okay? All women's, sweatshirts, less that. So you could get like some organization here. Boom. You got sunglasses. See, this is like how they might organize all this kind of stuff. Men's, women's. You're thinking of what stuff would people need. So you can kind of model after this. Rain gear and this. Now, I'm just going to use this as an example. Okay. 
let's go here. Let's see if I can get, um, let me see if I can organize this a little better. Okay. Okay, I've organized a little bit of fishing, uh, might include, and all that stuff. Okay. Now, I don't know how to uh, clear the formatting on that. So, yeah, I don't know how to clear it. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm doing like all kinds of weird stuff. Okay. I don't know how to get rid of the links. So, the links are going to stay in the document for now. So, example niche store fishing, Zilla categories might include fishing apparel. And then you got men's, all this kind of stuff. And that's just, you know, apparel. Okay. So, then you would go down and you go, okay, another category might be. Fishing rods, let me remove that. Fishing rods, fishing reels, fishing bait, um, fishing gifts. Okay, so you guys get the point, right? So it would look like this, look like this. So this is a fishing store, it's all things fishing. Okay, so that's kind of the point is that you can basically go in there and you can look and see, okay, what are people doing? Fly fishing, rods, reels, lines, tippets. Um, flies, freshwater stuff, lures, accessories, bags, coolers, nets, reels, fish grips, da da da. So essentially, what you have is you have a you have a niche store now. This thing's all things fishing. The reason this would appeal is like somebody who's if this said Fishingzilla, world's best fishing deals, somebody that's into fishing might might love this, and you could speak to them right off the bat. If I love fishing and I'm seeing somebody on a boat then it's speaking to me. And I'm seeing somebody wearing a, a fishing jacket. It's speaking to me. Everything here is speaking my language, right? So I'll go over here to, to AliExpress, the wholesale site, and I'm going to type in fishing, okay? So we're going to go here, fishing. And there's fishing right here as a category. Look at all these subcategories they have here. So fishing, um, these are all the categories that AliExpress has, okay? So let's go in there. Categories might include all that stuff. Categories might also include... Um, all these things too, okay? So other fishing tools, fishing, fishing, fishing. So there's another example of all this stuff that might be included, okay? So these are more examples of like, okay, what? look at all of these items here, okay? So fishing gifts, fishing lures, fishing rods, fishing tackle boxes, fishing reels, fish hooks, fishing lines. So your store can have all of these things as categories. Now, you go back to AliExpress and you go to each one of these categories and you can find items that are good for your store, okay? So let's say like fishing eyewear, for example. So there's 392 results of items that could potentially be sold. But of course, you only want to use good vendors. So out of these 392, there might only be like 10 that are any good, okay? So you might start with this, okay? This, this is a five-star, uh, five-diamond, um, you know, uh, seller here. You might want to start with something like this, 12, uh, US $12.98 uh, and you know you might want to start with something like this, add it to your store, change it up a little bit and then add that to the fishing eyewear or you might want to call fishing glasses or something like that. Then you go down and you go and you find some more good sellers, here's another five stars fishing glasses and you might be able to see the same vendor. Okay, you can see Cast King official store is the same vendor. So you go down here to Cast King and if they're a good vendor. You can go on here and you can learn a little bit more about them, maybe even contact them and say, hey, I've got a fishing store. You know, I would love to sell a lot of your products. So I, don't wanna, I wanna know, like, can I have pictures without um, trade, can I have pictures without any copyright stuff in them? Um, what deals do you have? You know, do you do drop shipping? If so, when I place orders from you, what do I need to put in the notes to make sure that it's drop shipped? What do I need to do to make sure you're not putting an invoice in, in, the, you know, in, the, in the delivery? You know, you can kind of talk to them and you can learn all, look at all the stuff that they have here. So now, here's another thing. If I want to sell a lot from this store, I can, I can go in. There's, there's fishing reels, fishing lines, fishing rods, fishing tools. See, this store has already really dove into this niche for me. So I can look at all this kind of stuff, okay? And I can kind of see all this kind of cool stuff, okay? So they have a top selling um, items as well. They've got their story. So you can go in here to their top selling stuff. You can kind of look into this. Look, look around and see what's selling very well. You can organize things. So they have their own store. You can go, okay, this is what people are buying. Okay, these super, these, these right here are what people are buying the most. You know, you start looking, okay, what are, what are these? Learn a little bit about your niche. 
Now, the more that you kind of see what's available, the more you dive into a niche, all of these products can either be um, subcategories up here. We can go outdoors fishing. So you can put them in a general store and put all the stuff in fishing categories. Maybe like, let's say like 10 categories that each have five products in. You could put in 50 products and you have a beautiful store. So fishing um, might include 10 categories, five products per category with, let's say, two to three hot selling items to lead with Facebook ads. Okay. So when you're in a niche, let's say you're in the fishing niche, regardless if you have a general store with fishing as a category, or regardless if you have a fishing store with all of these as main categories, regardless, you're going to have a certain amount of categories and you're going to want to have a certain amount of products inside of each category, maybe 10 categories, five products. But out of, that might be 50 products total. But then you're only really looking at two to three to be hot selling items to lead with Facebook ads. You're not going to, I mean, think about it. You're not going to run $5 a day ads to 50 products. That'd be 50 products. You might want to, uh, if you were spending at least $10 on average for each product to see if it sells, that's $500 that you're going to fork out just to see if one or two things sells. Okay, that doesn't make sense. You're going to go through and you're going to look for two to three hot selling items that you can lead with your advertising. And then once they come to your store, they're going to see all these additional items that they can add. So that's really what you're looking for. You're looking for what are kind of like some hot selling items. What's selling well? You know, what, what's, what's exciting? What's, you know, what's selling well? Now, in order to do that, there's lots of different ways, but um, you're really, that's what you're really looking to do. You're looking to dive in and kind of go, okay, what, what should I lead with? I'm going to fill my store. I'm going to make it look good. Then what should I lead with? That's your concept. Okay. So I wanted to kind of teach this concept of the general store, the niche store, and it might be all fishing. Okay. Like that. And then option number three is going to be micro niche store. Okay. Um, this is where you dive in deep to a sub category as its own store to stand out in a very busy advertising world and to talk uh, and to basically pull on the emotions of your passionate audience with a store that feels like it's made for them. Okay. Um, this converts very, very, very well, but it's risky because less room for experimentation. Okay. Example. Okay. Let's go into an example right now. We're going to go into an example. Um, let me go, let me go a real broad, let me go, let's say worm farming. Okay. We're going to go to an example. Worm farming. Let's do worm farming world. Worm, you're farming worms. Watch. Worm farming world. Example, worm farming world.com. Okay. This is an example of a micro niche store. Okay. Worm farming world. All, all things worm farmers. Now, if somebody's into worm farming, this is like a dream come true to come across a worm farming. So let's go look, let's like look, let's go to Google. First, let's go to that site. Let's do that My Shopify thing. Let's see if there's any worm farming. 5,000 results for worm farming. Look at this. Worm swag. Worm, worm swag. That's a pretty cool name, right? Worm, the worm swag. Okay? And look at this. They're basically selling all this worm farming stuff. Okay? The largest range of conditions, speed of the process. So here's all this stuff talking about worm farming. The worm swag, the worm stand, all this kind of stuff. Okay, let's go a little bit, let's go a little bit further. Let's see what this is. Oh, that store is unavailable. Okay, let's see. Composta, Australia. Look at this. Um, it's composting, basically. Um, it's a site, it's a Shopify store that's selling stuff to teach people how to compost, which is what you could use worms and stuff like that. Um, so you just kind of go in and you just kind of like look at a bunch of sites. You know, worm swag, worm farm, 100,000 composting worms. Look at this. Worm farm, buy worms in bulk. You can like buy all of these worms right here in bulk. I mean, that's pretty creative, right? So these people are selling worms on their Shopify store. Okay, so you kind of go in, 
uh, do-it-yourself worm farm kit. So look at this. Okay, perfect example. Look what just happened in a random search. We found a general store called Lo Lolux. Okay, look at how general this is. Ready? You guys want to see how general this is? And look, they're selling man cave stuff, <laughs> which we already mentioned in our things. How funny is that? So look what they're selling. They're selling um, featured items, women's apparel, women's shoes, swimwear, men's apparel, fashion accessories, babies and toddlers, jewelry, health and beauty. So even though they have a worm farm composting kit right here on their site, at the same time, they also have women's wedge, wedge shoes. Okay, this is called a general store. And what they're doing is they're essentially, um, they've got a big general store and they're selling all kinds of stuff. They're like their own Amazon. Okay, so this is an example of, for them, it's, less, it's more risky to do a worm farming store because they don't know. So they might start here, but if they can prove that they can sell this, the benefit of basically creating a micro niche is that you can be like a brand in the worm farm. You can build this and you can sell it. You're like, hey, I've got a worm farming business. I've got 50,000 um, members on my email list that are all into worm farming. You know, I'm basically dominating this space and you could sell it off as like a brand. Okay, it's pretty cool. So I just thought that that was hilarious that they had that right there. Okay, so let's go like this. Let's just go to Google and type in worm farming store. And you can look, Uncle Jim's worm farm. You know, and you can kind of see like what, like what a niche, what a, what a micro niche store looks like. This is a micro niche store. Uncle Jim's Worm Farm, okay? Uncle Jim's Worm Farm. They've got this gr nice graphic up here. And this person is really, di you can see all the categories that you could put on yours. You can see like the articles they have, the education that they have, um, the supplies, you know, all the stuff they're selling. You can see all this stuff. So you can really dive in and like create a micro niche store. And you could see if somebody was into worm farming, this is a store they would love to come across. It's almost like it's made for them. They love this kind of stuff. Um, so if you have a micro niche that you're interested in, this works well. The downside is it's risky. The upside is that you could build something like this and you could sell this as a business. You could literally sell, this person Jim could sell Uncle Jim's Worm Farm right now as an online entity and they could sell this kind of stuff. So you might go to like AliExpress and type in like Worm Farm and see if anything comes up. Okay, so like look at all this like worm related stuff, the home and garden, um, farm animals feeding, watering supplies, farm animals, bonsai. So right off the bat, they've got some products here that you can start selling on your store. Okay, different types of like worm farming related products maybe. You can go and you can look and that's just what shows up for worm farm. But you might be able to like go in and actually look at some of this stuff, you know, organic pest control for example. And maybe you can like type in organic pest control as an example and see if anything comes up. So here's some stuff. Or maybe you just do like pest control and then there's 1700 results worth of stuff. Maybe you could do like worms. Okay, and you can maybe see what kind of like categories come up. Um, or maybe you could do like worm, it's so like worm farm, plastic worms, worm gear. So you could just kind of look and you can kind of go through here and you kind of see, okay, what might good, good seeds, heirloom seeds, um, composting books, compost. So maybe we'll type in the word compost. And you can kind of see if a micro niche would work good. Composting stuff. Look at all this composting stuff you could be selling. You know, worm accessories. Find some sort of accessory that would be really good for somebody. Um, organic fertilizer right there. Grow bags. You guys saw like those, like a worm farm place was selling these grow bags. So you could basically sell these grow bags right here. And if you look, it's like, it's like pretty good, you know, $14.99. You know, you could find a vendor. These vendors are kind of generic, but you could at least start there and see. But there's ways to do this. So that's all I'm saying is that you can go into the micro niche business. So that's the idea. You know, example might be, and let's put in some categories, worm farming. Example might be um, indoor composting. Um, let's do indoor composting, outdoor composting, um, composting books. It might be fertilizers. There might be uh, worms for sale, um, seeds for sale, um, pest control, and there might be like uh, worm, worm farms. Okay, there's all kinds of stuff that you could put in here as, as audiences, right? So let's go indoor composting, outdoor composting, composting books, fertilizers, worms for sale, seeds for sale, 
pest control, worm farms. And this is just an example. And then, and then not only that, but you're, you're not only finding products in AliExpress, but you could also find, you know, you could come up with like niche shirts, you know, like worm farming. You could target worm farming and come up with niche shirts. You might be able to go to like a company like Team Teespring and you might type in like another, another animal. Okay, so here's all these animals, right? Um, and you can go to like all animals and see if there's like an animal shirt that you could replace it with like, you know, worm farming. So watch, watch this. Have no fear. The worm farmer is here. Okay. You could have this heartbeat ticking right here with like somebody with like a worm, a worm coming off of that. Okay. Um, you know, um, worms and blanks, worms and something that rhymes with worms. Um, I want to, I, I want to drink wine and farm my worms with a worm. Um, I work hard so my worms can live a better life and then put a worm with like sunglasses and a chain on, okay? Um, worms love winter, winter, kind of, and put a worm with like a scarf on. Worms make me happy. You, not so much, with like a little worm underneath. Um, you know, my, my reaches, my, in my darkest hour, I reached for a hand and found a worm and like put like your, your hand with like a worm sliding onto it. Um, do you guys see what I'm saying? Like you literally can, you literally can like target a micro niche and figure out a way to like, I just showed you literally, and I'm not, I don't even know what worm farming is to be real. Okay. So I don't even, I'm not, I don't, I don't get it. Okay. I don't even know what that means. I don't, I, does that, I really don't. So I, I'm like using an example of something I don't even know about. That's how simple it is. Like you can go in here and you right off the bat, I can show you how you could, you could tie, you could target. Now, you could go into Facebook ads and you could, you could go in and you could do some research and you could see if like there's, there's um, you know, worm farms. Um, you can go and research the niche. So you can come in here like, and you can say, okay, let me see in the United States. Is there any, is there, let's see how big this is. Composting. Let's, let's see, like, look at this red worm cost composting. Um, so you just start doing this interest. There's organic farming, sustainable living, organic food, all this gardening, recycling. So maybe that's like, so that might be like the, the general. So like this, this more, um, niche store, this niche store might be like, um, organic gardening.com. Okay. And it might have worm farming as a category or composting as a category. The micro niche store would be like worm farming world. Okay. So like you can come in here and you can start seeing, okay, what's the audience like? Let's, let's go ahead and type in the word worm. And, you know, there's 17 million right there. We could kind of go in and look at what kind of uh, things, organic farming, fertilizer, agriculture, sustainable living. Let's see if there's like worm farm, farming, farming and fishing uh, behavior. Let's go to like red worms. Okay. Red, red worm composting. Okay. So you start, you're starting to see like ver, vermicompost. You know, and you start seeing like it's starting to bring up like really specific things that you can, you know, that you can do having to do with farming. And you can really get in here and start really kind of like researching what would be, you know, what, what would be good, like organic fertilizer, organic. So you can start to, you can start to target. Okay. And, and of course, I don't know, like buy live worms. Maybe we start, look, vermicomposting supplies. Okay. Vermicomposting supplies. So I don't even know enough about this, but I would go over here, um, type in, in Google, I would type in the word vermicomposting, is the product of composting using various species of worms, usually red wigglers, white worms, other earthworms, um, heterogeneous mixture, so vermicast, so verma, so you just kind of come in here and you just kind of learn, you just kind of start doing your thing, like, okay, verma, and then maybe there's like, maybe there's like some more stuff that comes in, or maybe there's like, Earth, earthworms, okay? So it's like earthworm. Um, there's organic farming, organic fertilizer. There's like really like, you can reach millions of people, okay? You can reach millions of people. You can really target it in, you know, um, vermicompost, red wigglers. There might even be things like that. We can try that one. Red wiggle, <laughs> red wiggler, I don't know. It's not showing up. No results found. Wigglers, what did it say? Night crawlers. Night. Let's see if there's night 
crawlers, that's comics. Nah, that's enough of that. Anyways, it wouldn't take long to be able to figure it out. So the point is you could just Google it, you could start looking, and you could start like really kind of learning learning about it and seeing what terms they're using. So your 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 um your site might be like a, a either a general store with a category called farming with a subcategory called like organic farming or worm composting, whatever. That could be a general store. It might be a, a niche store where it might be like sus the word sustainable. Um, and then you could do like sustainable farming, you know, and like look at all these sustain sustainable farming sites you can have. Sustainable, sustainable farming club dot com. That sounds, that sounds like legit, you know, sustainable farming club. So basically, you could even have a club. Hey, join the club. It's $97 a month. You could even make $97 a month from all these sustainable farmers. And worm farming could be a category. So you can really get it. Even, even sustainable farming would be a, um, an example. Example, sustainable farming. Uh, so we'll kind of do that. Like example, sustainablefarmingclub.com. Okay? So same kind of thing. You know, example, sustainablefarmingclub.com. Worm farming might be a category, organic, composting, um, you know, whatever all those categories might be. Okay, you guys get it. Micro niches, uh, niche stores targeted. Okay, so this targeted traffic, these micro niches is, let me put this, laser targeted. That's the difference. Micro niches are laser targeted. Okay, so that's the example of the stores. Okay, so that, these are examples of how to um, decide between a general store, a niche store, and a micro niche store, as well as how to find products for each of your categories. Now, let's talk about finding hot niche products. Okay. Now let's talk about finding hot niche products. Okay. And let's have some fun. So let's do like, and we're still going to come back to, um, way here on the top, we're still going to come back to like um, these things here. We're still going to come back to these print on demand sites and Facebook searching. Okay. So that's how we're going to kind of find these right now. So now resources are going to be print on demand sites, Facebook search. Google search, and um, hot selling sites. Okay. That's really, this is, this is, you guys should start forming bookmarks. You should put a bookmark folder, and you guys should, should start forming um, bookmarks, like, um, like wish.com, for example. Let me, let me put that as an example. Um, example, wish.com to find hot, to find trendy products to sell. So example, go to wish.com, okay? So here's wish.com, sign in with your Facebook or whatever, and like look at all these products. Hello, Chris. So these are just like, you know, you'll get ideas. You know, like look at these products that wish.com sell, and they're finding products, and this is a great way to be able to find products you can advertise, okay? Go to wish.com and start glancing through and starting to look, starting to look at like ideas for things, okay? You'll notice a lot of fishing products, okay? That's, that's awesome. The fishing niche is, is killing it right now, okay? So you'll kind of notice this kind of stuff. So you can do, um, go through these categories. Here's outlet categories, hobbies, okay? You kind of go in here, almost gone right here. So you can start to look in here for hot niche ideas, okay? Um, titanium high-speed steel step drill cone cutters, okay? So you can start to kind of like look and like go, oh yeah, that's right, power tools and stuff like that could be, could be phenomenal. You can click on related products and you can see like, you can see all kinds of stuff like drill bits, drill sets, and you start to remember like, oh my God, there's, you know, it's really easy. You start to get ideas. It's really easy to target um, people who are into power tools, okay? So you start to look at this like power tool niche, okay? Uh, buy power tools online, okay? And you start to like go and look at all these sites, okay? Total Tools, Tool Barn, and you can start to model after these sites and go, okay, wow, this is a good niche, Tool Barn. And look, they give you all the categories, Power Tools, um, 
you know, shop by category, power tools, hand tools, air tools, machi machinery. So they give you like niche ideas, hot products, right? So you go to a site like Wish and you can kind of see like what products are hot and what products could be selling really quickly. And you know, something like this right here, $8, um, step drill cone cutters. And so now you go over here to like AliExpress and you can say, okay, drill, drill bits. Look at this, drill bits. So you can start to kind of like do some research here. Home improvement, tools, hardware. Um, so now you're starting to go, okay, I could have a home improvement um, niche. And you start to like think about it. Home improvement tools, power tools, machine tools, hand tools, tool parts, tool sets. And then you can start to like kind of go in here and start to look for really ideas. So here we are in home improvement tools, tool sets. And you can start to realize like, man, there's some, there's some great ideas here actually now that I think about it. Maybe I could find like an all-in-one tool, you know, um, and try to find something that's like a really great idea that's like an all-in-one tool. Like here's a four-piece broken speed um, extractor. You know, you can find good, good vendors and you can actually go to like their site. So look, here's, here's they got five diamonds. Let's go to the, you can actually go to their store and you've got a good, van, a good vendor here that has hand tools, power tools, accessories. And you can start to look at like their hot products right here and, and, and start to see, you know, what's selling and go, okay, let me, let me look at some ideas here. Let me, let me look at some of these like six piece titanium hand tap drill bits. And you can start to get really exciting and try to see if there's like for a hot niche product, you're kind of like looking, here's what you're kind of looking for. You're looking for, uh, you are looking, you know, looking for items that have a huge visual appeal, okay, like, it's kind of like curb appeal in real estate, okay, that have, um, okay, you're looking for items that have visual appeal, that's kind of like curb appeal in real estate, um, price appeal, okay, uh, the price is um, a great deal, right? like, they don't have to think about it, so you're looking for that visual, like, the picture, We'll actually put like picture appeal even to help. It's like kind of like curb appeal, like a nice picture. Price appeal. Um, then you're looking for urgency, um, and you're also looking for scarcity. And this is more um, in your marketing message. And again, in your marketing message, because like you're gonna have to build this in your product, okay? But that's what you're really looking for. You're looking for like an item that has this. You're looking for anything that has virality, wood friends want to tag their friends, okay? Would viewers want to tag their friends in the post? That's some sort of like virality to it. Like, oh my God, you've got to check this out, um, this and that. Um, is it niche specific? Um, does it precisely match your advertised audience? And you, and you got to start looking for, you know, hot niche items that have this stuff. Okay, that's what, that's like you're on like a treasure hunt to try to find this stuff. Does it have that picture appeal, price appeal, urgency, scarcity, virality, niche specific? You're looking for these kind of elements, okay? You're looking for this kind of stuff. So like, so like, um, like, let's look at some example niches and find some example hot products. Okay, so let's look, let's go to like the wine, let's go to like the wine niche. Okay, let's start, let's start with that. Let's go to the wine niche. Let's go here and let's do wine. Okay, wine stoppers, wine pourers, corkscrews, wine racks, wine coolers, um, decanters. Okay, so the wine niche has a lot of items in it. So you're gonna go through these pictures and you're gonna look for, you know, you're gonna go through these pictures and you're gonna look for like, you know, you're, you're really looking for something, a picture that really kind of stands out, okay? You're looking for a picture that kind of stands out with something cool. So you can go through each category, like wine stoppers. And you're looking, the first thing you wanna do is you wanna look for this um, picture appeal, okay? And picture could be video, right? Maybe, maybe it's something that if you just showed a video. So you're looking for a picture appeal. You're looking for a picture that jumps out like this just doesn't, this doesn't jump out. It's like, that's your most basic wine stopper. So it's just, it's not valuable. It's just, 
There's, it just doesn't have it there. Okay, now here's, here's more of an example, okay? Here is a funny, happy man, guy, wine stopper novelty, okay? So you see like here's this happy guy who's got obviously his, his uh, private parts there is the actual wine stopper. So you basically, there, here's a five diamond vendor who's got this funny little thing and it's cheap. It's $1.13 and it's only got $1.47 shipping. So it's super cheap. There's a, so do you see the difference? Like look at this product right here versus this product. See, bland and boring and regular. And the other thing is people can find this in, extor in stores, okay? Whereas people don't, they don't know about this in stores. Or what about this one here, these bananas? Again, it's, it's very sexual. Um, as a disclaimer, these probably would not do well with Facebook ads because people will probably be offended. Right, but do you get the point on how it kind of has that imaging? Okay, now what about these? These little top hats. Okay, now you're starting to get a little better. Now you're starting to get creative. You're starting to say, okay, wow. Instead of a boring wine topper, what if there was wine toppers that were like specific? What if there's these kind of like really cool wine toppers that are specific? And that's what you start really finding. You know, like, and you're looking for like a visual stunning image. Okay. You're looking, okay, so you got the top hat stuff. Um, you got these different colors. You're really looking for that creativity, that originality. That's what you're looking for for that hot product, okay? You're looking for something that's maybe funny or something that just makes sense. Um, something that, you know, that you can market in a way that's creative. Like here, like Lovebird Wine Stopper Bridal Wedding Gift. So see, you could basically come, come in and kind of target this. It is a wine stopper, so it's in the wine industry. But you could really target like, um, as like a, as like a as like a wedding gift. Say this is perfect for wedding gifts. You could target that kind of stuff. So you can really go through here and start to look for ideas, and that's really what you're doing. You're looking. Okay, here's a heart shaped wine stopper. So you're starting to get the idea of traditional wine stopper, but with something on it. Here's a here's a password lock combination. Okay, this one right here would be really cool for like. Um, this is like really cool to. Uh, to, 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 to come up with like a creative marketing idea, okay? Come up, you, you can start thinking of like, okay, what creative ways can I sell this, right? So if these things are essentially like locks, maybe there's a way to sell this where um, maybe like you sell this to parents and you say, hey, here's, instead of a regular wine stopper, here's a wine stopper with a lock on it so your kids can't open your wine. And now you have an angle. Now you've got, these are like wine stoppers for moms, okay? So you start just getting creative. You start thinking about, these, these concepts. You start thinking about, um, you know, this is a code lock which can lock the mouth of the red wine bottle. It seals it, keeps it fresh. It prevents it the wine from being stolen or switched. Um, you know, and, and it's basically, it's suitable to be used in a pub, a wine shop, hotel, supermarket, whatever, promotional gifts. But like you could really come up with like the mom gift, right? The mom niche, the parent niche, the dad niche and basically say, hey, and then you could even do like a little video of it you know, showing, like you could do a little video of like a kid going and grabbing a bottle of wine, like maybe show like a little kid grabbing a bottle of wine, like they're gonna, like, and they've just popped the little wine stopper off, like they're gonna drink it, like they think it's funny. And then you say, solution, boom, you bring in this one. And now you've got something that's only $2.96. You go in here and you find ePacket, and with ePacket it's $4.54. So now you have a very inexpensive product with a great marketing campaign. Um, and we'll, and we'll link this one in. Watch. We'll, we'll go example wine niche. Um, so we'll go here. Uh, example one is uh, wine niche. Example one would be the wine niche. Um, wine stoppers. Uh, and then we'll do um, combination lock wine stopper. Okay. And there's that link or whatever. I don't think I need that whole link. Um, I don't need all this extra stuff on it. Okay, so um, in this example, you could potentially target parents who love wine and hit the angle of locking uh, the bottle to prevent children from opening, okay? Even teenagers, okay? so. You know, it, it's if it, people buy emo. Okay, does it have, does it have uh, emotional appeal? Um, does it pull on their heartstrings? Okay, so you you're looking for things that have these kind of appeal, right? Hot niche items. 
that have this kind of stuff. So you look at something like this and you go, okay, I can see how this could work because you could target parents who love wine. So then what happens, you go over here to Facebook. Even if you're not placing an ad, you can always do it. So let's target like um, parents, okay? And it'll say parents with adult children, parents with teenagers. So right here, you can target parents with teenagers, okay? There's 9.6 million parents with teenagers who must also like wine. Okay, 2.5 million parents with teenagers who must also like wine. Narrow it further and let's do like, uh, uh, let's start doing some like brands of wine. So type in wine, wine lovers, wine tasting, red wine, um, Merlot, Cabernet. So you could basically go in here and you could go, okay, um, let's break down wine really quick. Let's, let's look at uh, how to dive into the wine niche. So we're going to basically do a little brainstorm. So you got wine, okay? Then you have types of wine, and then you're going to have like red wines, white wines, whatever. And then inside of red wines, you're going to have, you know, like Cabernet, and you're going to have Merlot, whatever those are, right? And then you're going to, whatever. Okay, I'm not perfect about wine, but then you have brands of wine, and then there might be like silver oak. Um, let, let's just do this. Let's go, let's go to Google and let's do top wine brands. Okay. So we could do, you could, you could basically like look top, top 10 wine brands, best selling wines in the world, 50 wines you could always trust. So you can kind of like get ideas. Okay. Behringer, La Crema. So when you're brainstorming, you know, Behringer. La crema. See, see what I'm see what I'm doing there. You can kind of like, you know, um, Blackstone Winery, uh, Bogle. So you go here and you go Blackstone Winery, Bogle. So what happens is you're basically saying, okay, I'm going to target um, how to target parents who love wine for the right audience for your hot niche product. Okay, what you're gonna do is you're gonna target, um, first, target parents on Facebook, maybe even parents of an age group, like teenagers, okay? So all I did was I went over to Facebook ads and I just typed in, literally I just typed in parents, and it gives me all these demographics, parents, with preteens, parents with early age school children, moms of grade school kids, parents, all parents, parents with preschoolers, toddlers, adults, whatever, like stay-at-home moms, there's all kinds of stuff, right? New parents, okay, whatever it is. So the first thing you do is do parents. The second match could be wine, okay? Second, target uh, wine terms by a specific group, okay, uh, such as Brands of wine, types of wine, etc. So, so that's what we'll do right now. We'll go in and we'll basically say, okay, instead of wine, let me close that one out. So let's go in and let's do some of those brands. Let's do brands of wine. Okay, narrow the audience by Silver Oak Wine, Silver Oak Cellars. See how that's a school, Silver Oak? We don't want one that. We want this interest. We want interest, Silver Oak Cellars. Okay, now look at all these interests, interest. Look at all these wines here. Opus One, Camus Vineyards, Joseph Phelps, Stag Leaps, Screaming Eagle, whatever it is. Look, there's 15,000 people, so we got to keep going. We got to go. We got to like keep going and get all these. Spring Mountain Vineyard. So you can just go through and literally like grab all of these, okay? Um, or you can grab ones that have like high amounts if you want. But it's just going to keep going up. 18,000. You're going to keep going up. You're going to try to get this thing into the hundreds of thousands if you can, okay? So you're gonna just keep going. Some of these are gonna be more popular than others. It's gonna take a while. You're gonna basically go in and you're gonna you're gonna go in and get like a, a bunch a bunch of these um, different wines. You're gonna make a list and you're gonna save it. Okay, so it's all right. You're gonna do you're gonna do the work once. You're gonna go get all these vineyards, and you can see it's just starting to go up. I'm already at forty two thousand. Okay, I'm already at forty two thousand, and I'm I'm doing it fast because I'm on the thing. But I'm gonna keep going up and getting all these wineries. These are such good terms. We go get all these different wineries. And vineyards and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna basically have a category called um, so we're gonna do parents 
teenagers. Um, and then we're going to create must also match uh, wine, vineyards, and um, wine vineyards and uh, wineries. Full full list. So we're going to basically make like a full list um, of wine vineyards and wineries. And I'm just going to go in here. Literally, I'm going to take the time and I'm just going to go in and share it winery, Seville, Cape Cod, blah 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 blah. All of these. Okay. I'm going to go in as long as there are vineyards and wineries. You know, I'm going to try. I, after I'm done, I'm going to basically go back and make sure I didn't actually ac accidentally get something else in there. Um, and I'm already at 89,000. Now, some of these might have more. So, if, you know, when you hover over, see, that one only has 1,240, but this one has 51,000. So, see, if I do 1,240, it's probably not going to increase that. 89,000 probably going to stay the same. But this one here... 2,000, no. This one, 51,000, this might increase it. So it might go from 89,000 to 90,000. See, it went up. So you're looking for um, items with like more. 21,000, 38,000, there we go. 244,000, Sutter Home. That would be a good one. See, I'm already at 120,000 there. So you're looking. Here's a Sutter Home Wines, 197,000. Um, look at this, E&J Gallo Winery, 6 million. That's a huge one. I'm already at 240,000. So you basically make this big list of all these wineries, and now I'm targeting parents with teenagers who are wineries. Now, as a quick note, because it's wine, it's alcoholic, I'm going to go 21 and above with age. And then I might target men or women in the ad. But the point is, I now have an ad that I can go and I can sell, you know, this product to. So now I'm going to go look at some, like, pictures of this. And I'm going to, like, try to find, like, a great picture for an ad, okay? And, or I might even, what I probably will do is I'll order this myself, order it to my house, and I'll make a little video where, like, I'll make a video where like, uh, you know, if I'm targeting women or whatever, if I'm targeting moms, I'll just grab a video where a mom, a little homemade video with my iPhone, where a mom basically um, is with her friends, she drinks wine, she, and it's just real quick. It's like a little 30 second video. She drinks wine with her friends, she, pu she, she um, puts on a regular stopper, puts it in the, you know, sets it down and they go off and then a little kid comes up and like basically opens it up and smells it or whatever and then put like a, like a big buzzer, like, uh, like, and like a circle with like a line through it. And then I'll show, you know, her friend gives her, uh, you know, she's about to do that and her friend goes, no, no, no. And a friend hands her this one, this little wine stopper that has a combination lock. And then she puts this one on and she smiles and then her, and then her kid comes over and, and then tries to pull it off and can't pull it off. And then you basically say, you know, uh, if you drink wine and have children, be responsible. Use this combination lock. And boom, you've got a viral video. You can go get really cheap views. You advertise 21 and older as your audience. And you basically, like what I just did was I just audience, you know, teenagers with all these wines. But then you can do another one that's like teenagers with like targeting wine magazines or teenagers targeting so many other things. There's so many other, uh, like when you type in wine, obviously, there's so many other things that can come up. Wine lovers, wine tasting. So you can go in and just like target like wine tasting. Um, wine and food matching, white wines, wineries, red wines. There's so much stuff you guys can do, okay? It's endless. Um, and that's really the point. The point is, as an example, is, you know, an example, wine niche, wine stoppers, combination lock wine stopper. This is the kind of stuff you're looking for. You're looking for hot items. Okay, you're looking. So let's go give an example too, okay? What, what you're looking to do is you're really looking, um, you know, put ETC, okay. Okay, example two. And let's, let's go in like a completely different direction, okay? Example two, let's do survival niche. And let's go and let's look for something survival related, okay? So let's do like a survival niche, okay? So you're looking for something that on a picture could, could really like get people excited, okay? So you're looking for something that if you were like in the survival niche, like what's like an all-in-one, okay? So here we, like... Like stuff like this. Now it's got a blade, so this might not sell well on Facebook, but this is the kind of stuff here. Um, and, but, but you see how it's like a keychain, and, it, and it's got like a blade on it. Like people love bladed products, but they don't, you can't advertise them well. But you're just like really looking for like niche stuff, okay? You're looking for like, you're looking for something that the picture and the imagery can sell really well. Something that's like, wow, I have to have that. Like tactical. Tacticals are really good words, right? So let's put the word like, tactical okay people are looking for like tactical items right and of course we could do all these 
We could do like all these search terms. We could do by number of orders, by newest, seller rating. Uh, we could do like by high seller ratings. Um, you know, whatever it is, like my most ordered. You can do a bunch of stuff, but like, like here's like a tactical flashlight. Okay, as an example, you can like look for, you know, you're looking for, you know, good solid vendor that has e-packet that's got something and you're kind of looking for, okay, you click a product like this, but you're really looking for like a picture that you can really use to really sell well or something where you can like really do a video to explain it. So it looks like this is something where maybe a video could explain it. Like if you were to compare this to a regular flashlight, you could say like, you could say like regular flashlight versus this tactical flashlight and just show what it does. I think a viral video could really show what this does. Same kind of thing, you can order it. So you're just really looking for something that stands out with like a, a way that you can get somebody to stop what they're doing and, and look at this and go, man, I need this product. Okay, here's, here's another flashlight with like a case, tactical flashlights, um, tactical gloves, you know, uh, tactical, um, a tactical camping knife, um, uh, you know, bottle opener, stuff like that. You're looking for products that have like some sort of an appeal to them where people get excited about them and people want, and people want to do them. But again, you, you wouldn't want to advertise blades. So you see like a lot of blades. I'm not looking to advertise blades, but tactical is good. And then you could also go like when you're up here, tactical space and look at this, tactical pen, okay? Tactical backpack, tactical gloves, tactical vest, tactical uh, pants, tactical boots. So maybe you go like, tactical pen okay so here's like a tactical pen okay self-defense weapons glass breaker so something like this would probably be great in like a little video okay a tactical pen being able to like show what it's able to do okay and you know find like what like what are some of the images that can, that can go well like like if this thing can break glass you might want to you know it's really sleek looking stuff like that it's got all this other stuff you might want to do like a little like a video that shows like 10 things that this pen can do in 60 seconds or less, you know? So do a video that shows like, here's, you order it and here's 10 things you could do. And of course, you know, it's got, you know, you go, you go in here and you look at this, like e-packet, uh, 12 to 20 days, so your cost is $7.47 and you can get this. So you're looking for items that, you know, have a little bit more appeal that you, can, that you can do and you're looking for those kind of niches. And if you ever go to someone, they're a good, let's say they were a good seller, you can go to their store and maybe you can look at some of their hot products that they have in their store you know, top selling items, um, you know, and you can kind of see like, here's a bunch of top selling items that they have. New arrivals, you can see maybe what products other people aren't selling yet. And so you can start to kind of like look, you know, um, recording systems, alarm systems, video surveillance. They're really targeting like the survival niche with all kinds of really cool stuff. So there's, you can kind of like just go look at their store and see like what kind of cool stuff they have and get ideas, okay? So that's what you're doing. Like you're looking for like, um, you know, like a survival bracelet, okay? A survival bracelet, you're looking for something that's really cool. So like, maybe instead of like a survival bracelet, maybe this is a band that could be on something else. Like, let's say like survival like watch, okay? Here's survival watches, okay? So it's a watch and this watch is a six in one outdoor survival watch, right? So now you're looking at like, this watch does six things in one, okay? And you look at like slick, slick pictures, like, look at all these things that this watch can do. It's got, um, and you kind of like can figure it out, you know. It's got a compass. It's got a fire starter. It's got paracord rope. See, the band could be uh, ripped out the rope. It's got a thermometer whistle and a whistle foreclosed. So it's got like a whistle you can blow into. It's got uh, the paracord wrap. It could start fires. It could do all kinds of stuff, okay. And you can like look at like all this tactical stuff they could do. So you're looking for things that have like this kind of like a tactical backpack, um, retractable solar lamps. You're looking for items that you can easily target people um, with what they're doing. And it kind of gives you ideas for like who to target. So again, you go over here and you would target maybe these items are probably, these items seem to target men a little bit more. I'd go 21 and over men. And then you could actually type in like the exact word, like tactical. And you can kind of see like tactical shooter, tactical light, tactical pants, you know, tactic, you know, there's, there's like tactical objective, so you could like literally go in here like tactical light and look at all these things, survival kits, tactical gear. You could target people that are interested in tactical gear, OPS gear, tactical performance, outdoors people, tactical supply companies. You can really get in here and start to, uh, start to really 
you know, US Patriot Tactical, ITT, ITS Tactical, LaRue Tactical. So tactical, you go in and get all these tactical words, all these tactical keywords. And look, you've already got 1.1 million men in the United States without even going any further. So there's always a way to be able to find, you want to find this audience but that has like the, the matching stuff. Like, and you can sell them tactical watches. And again, you could do the same kind of thing, like tactical, you know, all this kind of stuff, okay? Safety, survival gear, you can kind of go in there and kind of look, look for some things and click on orders or click on sellers, click on newest and kind of look through tactical, these, these, these multifunction outdoor watches that are like five in one, five in one, five in one, this stuff is hot. Okay, so you gotta like think of like how to be, a, what niche you wanna be in. Now, if you have a general store, you can just have a category for outdoors and you can have a category for like survival. Look what they have, they call it sports and entertainment, camping and hiking, safety and survival. So you can just copy their structure if you wanted. You could have one category that's called sports and entertainment, a subcategory called camping and hiking, and then directly to a product called safety and survival. And there you go, you basically can start seeing these, these products and start seeing items that are selling. And you go back to camping and hiking and you can like see, you know, some other ideas, travel kits. And you're really looking for like, you know, what are what are some of these what are some of these items that could sell really well? You know, you're kind of looking for just different ideas, different designs. And if you want to see more than watches, you just erase the watches. You know, maybe you just type like tactical. Okay? And you just start with like tactical and you go sports entertainment, they got outdoor tools. And then you got these kind of things here. Um, go back to camping and hiking. We're in the camping and hiking category with the word tactical and it'll show me all this kind of stuff. Climbing bags and you can start to see like what what would, you know, safety and survival. And here's the word tact, I'm just searching the word tactical in the safety and survival category and it's giving me all kinds of ideas. You know, I'm just, I'm just going through and I'm kind of seeing like what I, what I can do, what are some pictures that would draw my attention? Would this kit draw my attention? Especially if like, Maybe you ordered it and you made a video and you ordered the pieces with it. Maybe you bundle things together. You know, there's like lots of ways you could do things. You know, how about this? This like, um, this uh, adhesive tape, camo tape. This one right here would be a good one. Like really targeting people with cam camouflage tape, you know, and showing them like all your stuff could be wrapped up with camo tape. So this, this kind of thing, pretty simple right here. You got all these different types of green, all these different types of camo, different color camos, desert camo. Price 88 cents. Just like that, 88 cents for something like this, camo tape. So you could actually give this away free plus shipping. So there you go, like you could literally come in here and target camo tape and start, you know, making this as like a giveaway to get people into your store, into your niche store. So that's kind of like the example as you're looking for things to do, you're looking for items, like let's just put like this one in there. Um, you're looking for items, let's go here to survival niche, let's do like camouflage, Tape, free plus shipping offer. And there you go, like same kind of thing that we did up here, you know? And um, in this example, we target people interested in tactical keywords on Facebook, um, as well as survival niche keywords and find ways to bridge the product to niche audiences okay okay for example um, we're talking about adhesive elastic tape okay so what related niches might want tape that you can intersect with your audiences, okay? And that's, that's how you basically can get, like you can really get in here and you could figure out like something that'll work. Like what intersecting audiences? So what places, what, what, what do you need this tape for? Okay, what do you need bandage wraps for? What do you need all this kind of stuff? So, so maybe people that are interested in hiking, um, cycling, fishing, um, you know, uh, outdoor sports, hunting, you know. So you're, you're basically going to do this. And so the, what you could do is you can place an ad to each intersecting audience. 
Okay, so you take like like this. It'd be like survival keywords list plus must also match um, fishing keywords list. Okay, so your ad copy can show how fishing fans could use this tape, okay? And then you're gonna kinda do like, you're gonna do the same kind of thing. Instead of fishing, you're gonna do like, so survival keywords, this must also match hunting keywords and show how hunting fans could use this tape, right? So that's like really what you're looking for. You're looking for like, you know, you're looking for stuff like that. You're really, you're really looking to like dive it down. So you got like fishing, hunting, and you just kind of keep going. Like, um, let's do like um, survival plus bow and arrow. Okay, whatever the arch archery. Let's do archery keywords. People that are interested in archery. Okay, so that's it. Like you just go archery, and then you change this to archery, and you're just placing it. And then in your ad copy, you can you can show pictures, and you could like basically show how people interested in, in archery would would be interested in that. So like, so like like right here, for example, um, you know, you show like right there. There's a bicycle. So you look at this. There's a there's a bicycle seat um, wrapped with it. You can show how like they can wrap all kinds of things. You can like literally take a, a set of um, bows. Let's do archery. You can literally take like a set of bows like this or whatever, and you could find like whatever the case is that like carries this, you know. And you could like find out like what items could they wrap with this, you know. Maybe they could wrap like their bow with like some archery thing on it, or maybe they could wrap something. I don't know. Like you could get into these niches and show how it could work, and that's how you're going to sell a bunch. That's how you're going to get in here and get creative and sell so much. You could wrap this up, this telescope arrow. You could wrap it with tape, and now you got a camouflaged um, arrow. You could basically take a band and wrap it. There's, there, there's just ideas. I don't even know. This isn't my niche. The point is, is that when you understand this, you can, you can basically learn how to be able to target these niches. Now, again, this is just you getting started. This is just you learning how to be able to find hot niches and do stuff like that. So, uh, summary. In today's training, we talked about how to research and find hot niches by looking at various sites to find niche categories, then matching products, then looking for products that stand out uh, visually and that are a good deal, then matching them with targeted audiences on your store. Okay? So I want to end with, by looking at some of these sites. I want to end by going to these sites one at a time and showing you how to do your own research so you can go and do this. Okay? So let's go. Let's go to Teespring. Okay? First site we're going to go to is Teespring. They already have the top categories that other people are selling in. Okay? So like you can look at niches and you can look at hot products. Look at Fitness Mom has its own category, okay? MILF, moms in love with fitness, right? There you go, MILF, moms in love with fitness. That's, that's a perfect type of a thing. Mom strong, mom strong pillows, gym mom, like a normal mom but stronger and sexier, you know? Creative ideas, right? Fitness mom category. So you kind of just go in and you can look at these, you know? Like, look at these categories. Look at all these sports. Like, who would have thought of slack lining? Who would have thought of shot put? Okay, would you, would you really have thought about shot put and slacklining? I don't even know what slacklining is. Um, I still don't, even after looking at this. Oh, where you walk across a, a rope, I guess, where you walk on ropes, slackline. So you can potentially uh, target people. Maybe there's like an easy slackline audience, actually. Let's do all, let's see, slack. Slacklining. Look at that, tightrope walking, 
acrobatics, da 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 da, given, given slack lines. Yeah, look, 620,000 people in the United States interested in this. What a, see, somebody went and found this. We wouldn't, I wouldn't have known this unless I went to Teespring and saw it as a list. So slack lining, you can come in here and you can make, you can make shirts that have slack lining. You can do all kinds of stuff. And you can target these kind of people with shirts. You can target these people with ideas. So you can, you can see like what – you can have a category for this and you can come up with ideas. And you never want to copy somebody, but you can come up with ideas and look for ways to be able to um, – mark. See, somebody who actually spends hours every single day walking across ropes, they're going to be passionate and they're going to want to uh, have something like this. You know, So that's what these people are doing. They're cashing in on a passion. So this is where you're going to find niche ideas, hot products, hot niche ideas. If you can sell something to slack lining people, that's great. Look at awareness. These are people, things people are uh, passionate about, jobs. People love their jobs. They spend years and years and years. Somebody spends years getting into transportation. If somebody that's a bus driver, you might think a bus driver or a taxi driver or whatever it is, is just kind of a regular bland job. But to them, that's what they do for years. So if you have like a shirt that's like a bus driver shirt or something, Let's click on transport. Let's see what kind of stuff is in here. If you have a shirt that like there's all kinds of stuff like um, truck driving, um, private airplanes, sailing, um, dump trucks, pri uh, uh, flights, boating, um, trucking, boating, uh, tow boat, tow boats, dump trucks. I mean, look at all this stuff. Like there's just so much stuff. Um, you know, big trucks, aircraft mechanics. There's so many niches, you guys. It's just crazy. So people are really interested in sports. They're really interested in, in passions, things they're passionate about. You're looking for those things. You know, you're really, you're really diving in and you're looking for things that people are passionate about, like magic. You know, people are really passionate maybe about like they're, they spend years of their life, uh, you know, learning magic, okay? Um, and you kind of you like, you kind of look for like different things, you know? Um, let's go to look at magic, types of magic. There's like literally breaking in types of magic. So it's very, this is where you want to go. You go to sites like Teespring, look at niches, look at, get ideas, and then you go cross-reference by, by doing Google searches and stuff like that. Okay, same kind of thing with viral style. Same thing, you go to viral style and you can kind of start to see, okay, look at the niches that are hot, like dog owners, um, you know, beer drinking and hunting, science, um, science again, military, uh, um, cancer cause, you know, funny teams making, making fun of people. Um, there's just tons of them. Okay. So you can go here and you can look at categories here, go to military and get ideas and try to see like, okay, what are people, what are people doing? Let, let this load. What are people doing? Second amendment rights. All kinds of stuff. Irish, so now you're talking about specific types of uh, demographics of people. Um, wives of military uh, or, or husbands, I guess could be either. Um, you know, they got, the, they got the, the necklaces, very patriotic stuff, mugs. Okay, you guys get it. And then there's sites like Gearbubble, same kind of thing. Let's log out of this one. I did this yesterday and never, never actually sold, never, I paused the ad right after the training. Um, so then you go in here and you kind of go to like the same kind of thing, you know, categories. And like you kind of go in like yoga. Okay, here's yoga as a category. And you kind of get an idea for what's a hot product or what's, what's really working. Like mantra, they got like a whole mantra going around. Um, never underestimate an old woman with a yoga mat. All this is is targeting women interested in yoga and then targeting their ages. This could be like never underestimate a grandma with a yoga mat, okay? Um, a nice like little quote there. Um, nice nice stuff right here. Think less, feel more, frown less, smile more. So they have like little quotes you can find on Pinterest and stuff. So you can see like the reason these are hot is because people that are passionate about yoga don't really see this stuff in, in stores. Like when you go to the mall, if there's a yoga store, that store is going to sell like yoga mats and yoga pants and yoga equipment, but it's likely not going to sell like yoga necklaces like this right here 
or it's likely not going to sell like really, really cool, really creative like grandma yoga. It's not going to have like a grandma yoga thing. So that's what makes it a hot niche item is the fact that you, you really like somebody seeing it on Facebook and they can't see it anywhere else. They're like, wow, this is amazing. How did this, how did Facebook know I was a grandma that liked yoga? So what, what makes it hot is like targeting grandmas or vegan yoga, um, you know, really just kind of blending niches together. People who are vegans who also like yoga. And you can really go over here to Facebook and you could do like vegan related terms, make a list of vegan related terms and then go over here and narrow it down with like yoga related terms. Okay. And then that's still a huge audience, 15 million people. So you can like really narrow it down even further. You can just kind of keep narrowing it down until it gets to like, you know, 200,000 to 800,000. So let's go like meditation. Um, let's go to, uh, let's ditch yoga. Meditation. Let's type in meditation again. Get like a meditation list. You know, Buddhist meditation. Um, and just like that. People that are interested in yoga and Buddhist meditation, 85,000 people. And we could kind of like, we could build that up a little bit higher so it's like 200,000, 800,000 people. But now you get very specific and you can make a shirt that's like a yoga shirt. Um, like never underestimate a Buddhist mom with a yoga mat, right? Never, ad never estimate a, Bo a Buddhist grandma with a, yoga, with a yoga mat, right? You could do stuff like that. So like you could type in like Buddhism. Um, you know, you could do Buddhism, yoga, and then narrow it further. And we could do like grand, um, grandmother, um, grandparent. Um, you could do like grandparents. You could do um, parent, uh, you know, demographics, parents all. So you could go to like, um, you know, parents all like that, and then you could target by like age. So if it's if it's a grandmother, you know, you could do women, and you could do like okay, whatever age. Let's do like sixty years and above as an example. And there's a hundred thousand people right there. We could get it even bigger. There's a hundred thousand, and we could take veganism out maybe. Yoga, Buddhism. Look at this: one hundred ninety thousand women that are parents, that are, um, and we could actually go in and get grand, grandparents as the actual niche to be even, even more generic, but just women over 60 years old that like yoga and Buddhism, and you could do a shirt that's like never, never underestimate a Buddhist grandma with a yoga mat, and then boom, look at that. You got an audience. So that's what I'm saying is like, what, what are the odds they could ever find that in the store? That's what makes things hot, you know? Um, one of the things that makes an item hot is when a viewer sees it on Facebook and thinks if they don't buy it right then, they will never be able to buy it again because there is no way that it can be found in stores. These are called impulse purchases and are the backbone of our sales model, okay? That's the thought I want to leave you with, is that impulse purchasing is like the backbone of our sales model. This is what our audiences do, is they make impulse purchases. They're going to see, you know, a shirt or whatever, um, whatever one that was. Let's go to like yoga. Let's go to yoga. Uh, Never underestimate, so right here, you can have a designer. Never underestimate a Buddhist grandma with a yoga mat, and you literally have an audience. Never underestimate a Buddhist mom, and then you could, you could start replacing things, you know? Never underestimate a blank with a, with a blank, and it doesn't even have to be a, a yoga mat. You could actually get, um, you know, never, never underestimate an old woman with a tightrope you know, with a slack line. Never underestimate a grandma with a slack line and you target slack lining uh, in women that are grandparents. You know what I'm saying? You can get creative, you guys, and you just, you just swap things out. You create something original 
And then suddenly that's how these people are making, look, people are making hundreds of thousands, even millions of dollars doing this. And that's what we're trying to teach you how to do so you guys can kill it in this challenge and make a ton of money and be thankful that, you know, Techademics helped get you there. And that's really like what we're doing. We're really just trying to, we want to create so many case studies of success that you guys blow everybody away. And so, you know, all of these stores um, and then the kind of the last thing that I want to go to here is, is Facebook, okay? One more way to, 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 I want to end with this. One more way to find stuff is on Facebook search where you can do like, type in like free plus shipping. A lot of people don't realize that Facebook is like a, is like a, a, a search, right? Free, free plus shipping, right? So here's like, and, and then you can see what other people are selling, like people are selling this. Now this one right here might be, um, this one right here is probably too dangerous to advertise on Facebook, but now you can go to like a site, like I Love Wine, and, and start to, um, you know, start to see how they're advertising and how they're marketing things, you know, and you can start to see what they're doing. Or you can go to, you just kind of keep going down. You just kind of like go down and see like um, what, what products people are selling. Like you could do like um, videos that have the words free plus shipping on them, videos, okay, canvas wall arts, free plus shipping, more videos, free plus shipping worldwide. You can kind of go start looking through items. 50% off plus free shipping. So there's all kinds of like items right there. You can go to photos, free plus shipping. You know, like start looking at, start looking at all this, you know, start looking at ideas for what people are selling. And, you know, you kind of go in and you just kind of start to look at it. You're like, okay, like us, tag your friends and get your free necklace now. So see, if somebody loves heart, if somebody loves horses, they might also like this horse jewelry. And it says get yours on ringpire.com. So then you can kind of like see they're tagging, they're tagging people that are interested in horses, equestrian stuff, equestrian fashion. And then you can go to people's pages and start reverse engineering and use Facebook search to see what people are advertising. Okay? Look at this. This bracelet right here has barbells on it or dumbbells. So dumbbell bracelet, right? So you so what you would do is you would go in and you would you would go in and you would target, let's say, like women. Um, that are interested in, uh, you know, that are interested in working out. So you go women, 21 and above, who are, you know, who are basically like, uh, start with like bodybuilding. And then you could run it like, look, 10 million women, 21 to 65, body, bodybuilding. Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll do it like working um, out. You know, you can kind of go in like physical exercise. And you can go in and start like dividing out, like um, maybe we'll put gym. Um, gym instructor. So look for look for uh, interests like gyms, interests, um, and you go for like in gym. Uh, let's go further. Let's go world gym. There you go. Like world gym, bodybuilding world gym. Look at sixty nine thousand people. We're gonna get that up to like two hundred thousand, eight hundred thousand. And I'm gonna target. Uh, let's go women. Okay, women who are um, interested in bodybuilding, world gym, twenty four hour fitness, um, and maybe like L A fitness. Okay, 900,000 people. So look at this. I've got women interested in bodybuilding who are also interested in 24-hour fitness, LA Fitness, and World's Gym. And then I'm going to basically target them with like, I'm essentially just going to target them with something just like what I just showed you. I'm going to target them with like a, a bracelet that has dumbbells on it and just like this. Okay? It's pretty cool. Like um, this is the kind of stuff we do is we're just looking for stuff like this. Or here's like a, here's you know other products. Here's like a deer, so you can get like a you can get like the Bambi um, purse. You know, discover the Bambi bag. The Bambi bag. Look, they got a video for it. Um, there's the Bambi bag, so you can target women that are like interested in fashion and fashion brands, but who are also interested in like whatever animals, deer, Bambi collection. You know, so there's just so many ideas you can get just by using Facebook search. So maybe type in like just pay shipping. And then just start to go down and just start to like look at it. Photos. And just kind of start to look and see, okay, what are, you know, here's public photos. Just people are, people are selling stuff. How about this elephant thing? You know, you could target women who are interested in elephant related stuff. And, you know, that's right. Just pay shipping. The original cost of the elephant necklace is twenty three eighty. Hurry. This deal won't last. Shopping link in the bio. So people, these people are advertising on Instagram. Okay. 
So you can basically go in here, see all public photos, and it's just going to show like just pay shipping offers, okay? So you get ideas. And especially if they have a lot of likes, then they're probably selling well. 1.4K, that's pretty good, but sometimes you'll see things that have like 100,000 likes or something, and now you know, okay, wow, that thing is really selling very, very well. So there's just great ideas. Like look at 4.7 thousand likes, so you're starting to get a little bit, starting to see somebody's advertising. 3.4 thousand, so like look at this, it has like a marijuana leaf and it's like, it's, um, it's advertised. So you can kind of go in and you can kind of look, if this was your niche, if your niche was like the weed or cannabis niche or something, go to their fan page and you start seeing like what, what are they advertising? How are they advertising stuff? You know, 420 giveaway, they're going to capitalize on the April 20th date coming up. Um, they're capitalizing on all this kind of stuff, you know, and they're, they're showing all kinds of products, all kinds of stuff. So this is like what you're able to do. You're able to come in here and you're able to try to find, um, you know, different types of, you know, different types of products that you can sell. You're able to reverse engineer. You're able to, you know, kind of spy on people. Your goal is to talk about, is your goal is to find niche products that are hot, that match a lot of the things we talked about, that would cause somebody to have an impulse purchase. Okay? That's your goal. So hopefully today was, uh, was valuable, by the way. I think, I'm, I think I'm about wrapped up. We went for a while. In the beginning days of this challenge, I'm basically spending a lot of time with you. And then um, after, uh, after I spend a lot of time with you, then we're going to kind of go into like shorter, more precise videos. I just want to get it like all out of the way so early in the house, uh, so, early, so early in the house, somebody wrote that, so early uh, in the beginning of the challenge just to be able, really be able to help you, okay? So if you guys have questions, come to the 90 Day Challenge group and ask them as their own post, okay? And then the post will go through this approval process here and one of our moderators will approve it if it's a good post. If it's declined, then maybe, if, if it doesn't get approved, then maybe try writing it a different way. Somebody here will approve it and then ask your questions to the community. Don't ask your questions to me Ask your questions to the community. You know, I just spent two hours with you. Ask all your community. Ask your peers. Ask your fellow participants. You know, um, what what they think. What what's the answer? Stuff like that. Okay. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this. I'm gonna cut this out. I've been going for quite a while. Still got a busy day ahead of me. I hope you guys are enjoying the challenge. And most importantly, I hope you're taking action on it. Um, that's what this is all about. Okay. If you guys like this, uh, you know, the best way to the best way to show me you like it is to take action. And, um, and going to crush it. Go crush it. That's all I'm asking for you. Crush it. Absolutely. Kill it in this challenge, okay? Sell, 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 sell. Okay, if you guys want uh, to see all the videos, you just go over here to the file section. 90-day challenge replays right here. They're all right here. And we're going to keep putting a whole list of them. Day one, day two, day three. We're going to put a whole list of them, you guys. 90 days of training. You guys are going to come out as experts. It's going to be crazy. You guys are going to absolutely love it. With that being said, uh, I'm done. I'll see you guys on the next, uh, next one I come out on. And if it's not me, it'll be somebody from Techademics helping you out. Okay, I'll see you guys later.